Luke Peterson on trumpet, Nathan Atterbury on drums, and this is Shaken Not Stirred. to play is uh, we, do, we do a lot of teaching in the jazz band uh, in, of improvisation. We basically use the blues as our vehicle for that. This is a different kind of blues. It alternates between a rock feel and a swing feel. It was composed by one of the great 20th century 
exponents of the jazz alto saxophone, B1 Cannonball Adderley, played for many years with the Miles Davis sextet quintet, also led his own band for many years. This is entitled Sack of Woe, and it is going to feature Jake Chambers on trumpet, Josh Sisson on tenor saxophone, in addition to Eric Sarf on alto saxophone, and David Hansen on alto saxophone. This is Sack of Woe. Dennis de Blasio was the music director of the Maynard Ferguson Big Band, 
And he composed this piece, believe it or not, they were the featured artist at a massive marching band competition at Soldier Field in Chicago. And they composed this piece entitled Coconut Champagne. It's kind of a Latin samba, rumba type thing. And uh, the first time they played it was at Soldier Field, this contest. And I guess all the bands were watching the Maynard Ferguson band play as they were playing this, and they all formed one giant conga line throughout Soldier Field to this piece. And so I think it might help you to understand this piece, to envision this, envision this, as we uh, perform Coconut Champagne for you. It will feature Josh Peterson on tenor saxophone, Luke Peterson on trumpet, Zach Gray on drums. It features a lot of He's getting the feel already. It features a lot of the rhythm section, Alicia Kramer on piano, and Jesse Steinauer on bass. We also have an enhanced sax section for this piece, featuring Christy Holman on flute and Sarah Wallen on piccolo. So we play for you now, Coconut Champagne.
song, of course, needs an introduction. That's Do You Hear What I Hear, and it's by uh, Noel Regan and Gloria Shane, Lisa Hallmark on the, on the finger symbols. We have tried this year, we've had difficulty finding a compass, and we tried even to make us a tape on the piano, and we're back to playing this way. So just bear with us, we'll be back. Our next song is called Come See the Baby, and it's a cappella song.
Thank you, Mr. Caton. Our last song is called Concert Stick, and it's a combination of a lot of songs that you've probably heard since childhood. And uh, as Peter, Paul, and Mary once did in one of their comedy routines, you're really going to want to sing. Please don't. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Our next selection is kind of a Jamaican Christmas song. It's a it's based on a Latin American tune entitled Mary's Boy Child. It's arranged for concert band by Stephen Bola, who at present is the arranger for the United States Marine Band. Uh, it's a piece that we've enjoyed working on, and it's entitled Christmas Calypso. This is a Christmas setting of three Christmas tunes entitled uh, Christmas Trilogy. It's written by a composer who is uh, on the faculty at uh, Eastern University, Mr. Elliot Del Borgo, who ordinarily writes things that sound like Sunnitaf, but this is a little different and it's going to sound more normal. It uh, features three Christmas tunes being Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Away in the Manger, and Deck the Halls. This is Elliot Del Borgo's uh, Christmas Trilogy.
we've spent a great deal of time this fall uh, working on the music and the routine that we performed for the Santa Claus parades this past weekend. And we did do quite well in those, and a lot of that has to do with the hard work that these students uh, have done in the last week or so, month. We'd like to feature our flag corps along with our drum line and the entire band in Santa's parade that we played this past weekend. 